I'm gonna make a quick video while I'm, uh, I'm cooking some food. This is a late lunch, early dinner, I guess. No, it's just a late lunch. Screw that. I'm not, not deleting dinner because of this. Mmm. Mmm, chop. Anyway, I know everyone's seen the video already of the elderly gentleman being kicked off the flight. Kicked off the flight. Kicked, basically. Dragged off the flight. How do I do this? He's like 60 years old. Um, being kicked off the flight, off United Airlines. Um, it's very upsetting, for sure. I mean, you don't need anybody else to, to remind you of that. But this is something that I saw on the New York Post um, today, earlier. This is the headline. It's like, it's like, this is what you want to make your headline? Doctor dragged off flight was convicted of trading drugs for sex. What the hell does that have to do with anything? You know what I'm saying? New York Post? Does that... What, what, why do you have to dig into this gentleman's past? Is that like justifying why he was dragged off the flight? Is that what you're saying? The doctor's name is Dr. David Dao. Um, Vietnamese, not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, it might be Dao, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, they, they just, they just had to stress that he's a poker playing doctor who had a history of, you know, trading drugs for sex. That's fine. I mean, that's maybe save that for later, but like a day or two after you find out of this whole event happening, I mean, that's just, that's unnecessary. It's like, it's basically like saying, all right, somebody, um, got run over by uh, a cop car. But that person, 10 years ago or whatever, I don't know, however long, was also convicted of, um, of money laundering, whatever, you know. But unrelated. Does that, like, justify him getting run over by a car, or, you know, on because of, like, over overzealous either police officers, or whatever, people, drivers? Does that somehow justify them getting hurt? It's like, where does, you know, where does the... The line, where's the line drawn? I've heard this thing is that cruelty is cruelty no matter, you know, if the person deserves it or not. Because you're still humans, you're still, you know, still entitled to human rights. I didn't really like that, uh, that title, that, uh, New York Post, um, headline right there. It's like they're looking into his past for some reason, like as if he did something wrong, really. I mean... Even if the airlines are legally allowed to eject people off of off of things, um, off of flights, I feel like there's really no need to do it that harshly. Yeah, I feel like it's not. You know, it, it's it's definitely messed up. It's definitely messed up. I mean, who knows? Maybe he was cursing at them. We don't know the entire story yet of, like, what happened. Maybe the doctor, he was, like, cursing at them. You know, who knows? He may have told them to eat their own penises or something. Who knows? Whatever. That'd be kind of funny comeback, though. It's like, eat, eat your own dick. Yeah, I mean, we don't know the entire situation, but it looks like, based on reports and video, is that um, the gentleman, he just didn't want to leave. You know, and he has... He has the right to refuse, but the airline has the right to eject legally. I don't know how this is kind of messed up, but they have the right to eject people off of airplanes. But I don't think they meant, like, forcibly drag violently off a plane bloodied. That's not what they meant in their guidelines. It has to meant, like, you know, suggesting strongly and heavily with colorful language, perhaps, the person to leave. Like, please leave. Please leave. Something like that. You need to go, or anything like that, but not like, like if you watch the video, I'm gonna send you a link to another uh, famous YouTuber. Uh, he's got a really good uh, opinion on it too, and he puts uh, he puts his thought in it. It's really good. Shout out to uh, Jordan Digital. That's the that's the thing. I don't know. It's it's still messed up, but they need to fix that. They need to like clarify these laws these rules on like what they're allowed to do legally because that's I mean that's not right I mean the dude's an old guy I mean leave him alone you know who cares if he had like a history of sh like a shady history you know um 
it's not the right time to bring that up. I mean, you can wait like a month and something and bring that up later. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to be like, oh, never mind. He did some shady stuff in his past and selling drugs for sex. Then it's okay that he got bloodied and beaten up and thrown off a plane. No, that's not, that's not a valid argument. That's not logic right there. That's not common sense. That's just, I don't know, media, maybe? Who knows? Nah, not cool, New York Post. Not cool. You can do better than that. I've seen you do better. But yeah, that's it for today, I think, right now. Have a good day.